bacon cheeseburger roll-ups. Start off with one small onion, diced, and I like to cook the onion a little bit before I add everything else, just to help uh, sweeten them up a bit, because Max is not a big onion eater. To this, you're gonna add four slices of chopped up bacon and one pound of hamburger. And you're gonna cook this together until the hamburger is cooked. Then you're gonna drain off uh, the fat. Once the fat's drained off, you're gonna add two thirds of a cup of Cheese Whiz, which is a processed cheese product. And once that's all melted and blended in, you're going to put this aside and let it cool for 10 to 15 minutes. Here's my new sill pad. Thank you, Beth. Take out a package of refrigerated crescent rolls, and I recommend you get the jumbo kind. If you can get the big, big ones, the biggest crescent roll package you can find. And you'll see why in a minute. Then unroll them, put them side by side, and then you're gonna try to seal up all the little seams as, as well as you can. because it will tear if you, when you roll it if they're not sealed properly. And I was just measuring it there. It said that it should be 14 by seven inches. And this one was a little bit on the small side. Then you spread the cooled mixture over top. Right up to the edges. And then you're gonna roll it up from the long side. Now, I had a really hard time rolling this up the mixture wasn't quite cool enough, I guess. I, you, the only way to really do this is that the mixture was very, very cool because the crescent rolls began to soften immediately and as soon as you tried to turn it, it was ripping like crazy. So this was a bit of a pain in the neck to roll this up because all the seams that I'd sealed up started coming apart. So a cool mixture and uh, a larger crescent rolls probably would have done, the, uh, done what it should have done. So it says you supposed to put it seam side down, but there's no way that I could have turned this over without ripping it to pieces. Then you're supposed to bake it at 400 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes until it's golden brown. So I did, I baked it at 400 until it was golden brown. And the exterior of it was cooked quite nicely, but what I found was that the dough that was curled inside there when you roll it up was kinda, kinda mushy and uncooked. It still tasted okay, but I think maybe baking it at say 3, 350 to 375 for a little bit longer would give it the filling a chance to heat enough to cook the dough that's inside there. So it does taste like a cheeseburger though, that part is true. So it, it's a quick, easy meal. Would I make it again? I'm not sure about that. There you go.